Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are doing a um, watermark with Adobe Photoshop 14 elements. So, what is a watermark? It's the little transparent logo icon picture you got in your bottom right corner of your YouTube videos to really mark your video for not anyone to steal it. So. Uh, what you want to do is to create something no one else has. And the best way to do that is to go and do it yourself. So, what do we need? We need an empty file that's transparent. As you can change down here, you just change to transparent. And then you go 250. Why? Oh shit. And then you go 250. High. and make sure it says pixels here there we go so now we got this done what we need to do is we need to get uh, some, side of a, some sort of a leather like uh, let's take a font here with some good leathering let's take this From this one As you can see here the size is quite small so we need to go up a bit put it to 200 2200 I tell you god damn it and we type M so as you can see this is gray here so I need to switch the color here to black let's go with black M or not let's take a B for Bob that's kind of good, I think. So, let's switch it down. 200. Okay. Then press. Okay. I have a big B here. So all you want to do is right click, press edit layer, and then you can put some shadow into it. You can uh, decide your distance, what, what color the shade should be. I go, I'm going with black and how solid the shadow is going to be so I'm going to go with a uh, glow uh, uh, outer glow here I'm going to go with blue and then I'm going to add the blueness you can see it glow close and blue there I want it somewhere there I want it Pretty bright. So this is Bob's channel. That's why I have a B. And let's do it some phrasing. So it's it's really popping. You get that really popping. You get that pop. You can also choose down or up depending on what you like the most. But I prefer over. And this is line. I'm going to need a blue line since I got a blue shadow glow in the background. So I'm going to do, go with this. So this is just a rough, uh, rough picture of what it could look like. And all you need to do, if you don't like the font now, all you do is mark it and you switch to for example let's take uh, this one and boom you still have the same you still have the same settings but you can just change around with fonts and pick the font you like most so this is what I usually do I usually first get into the color theme then I go pick the the characters like this one maybe or I don't know let's take let's take a scary one let's take this one that's more in my style actually and what do you do after you're finished we just take archive save as but the most important thing about this is that you save it as a PNG We 
Where is the PNG? There it is. Sorry. So I saved it as Bob. Oh shit. PNG. And then we named this Bob Water Mark. Save. So now it's saved on the desktop. Just press OK here. Now it's saved on the desktop and it's right here. As you can see, it's transparent. So this, you only see the glow through the video and you will see uh, the letter. So everything behind it will just merge into around the B. And yeah, that's how you do a cool watermark. All you need to do now is upload it on your YouTube setting page. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.